morning. Today is Thursday, February 1st. A whole new month. A whole new month to try, try it again. Well, I forgot to tell you how I did for the month. I was gonna. I weighed myself this morning on my scale, and I weighed myself on my scale on January 1st. So that's the the weight amount I'm gonna go by. But I'll put it right here. What my total loss, because I really do think I had a loss for the month of uh, January. But according to my scale and my Weight Watcher app, I gained two pounds. I don't see how that happened. I really don't. I really, really, truly don't. But we'll talk about that in a minute because we have birthdays. Today is Nancy Who 52. Nancy, it's your birthday. You didn't need to tell me that. I knew that. Everybody knew that. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Nancy. Happy birthday to you. Cha cha cha. It's also Mary Meyerhoff. Mary. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Mary. Happy birthday to you. Cha cha cha. Make sure there's no cars coming. We don't want to get hit. It's also Carla Johnson. Carla. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Carla. Happy birthday to you. Cha-cha-cha. And last but not least is Callan Lee, but in parentheses I have it Cindy. So I'm thinking that your channel name was Callan Lee, but your real name is Cindy. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Cindy. Happy birthday to you. Cha-cha-cha. Well, I hope you all have a great, great birthday. I charged my microphone last night. I charged a little clip that goes into the mic into my phone. I charged the little microphones, and they don't work. I'm doing something wrong, or I have a defective microphone. So I have lost every bit of patience for it. So when I get home, I'm going to have Jim work on it. I should have had him charge him while I was gone. Now that I'm thinking about it. Oh well, not a biggie. But so I'm going to. Um, have him figure it out, and if he can't figure it out, then I'm just going to send them back and say they're defective. So once again, you only have me without the microphone. But you know what? When I watch other channels, they don't seem to have a microphone, and they seem to be fine. So I'm just thinking it's got to be my car that makes too much noise. I don't know. But like I said, I did get on the scale this morning, and I did gain two pounds according to my scale. But look at me. I'm still going to the meeting because I really, truly believe it has something to do with the fact that I ate out last night, although I'm very proud to report I stuck to my stuck to my guns. I ordered a nice tea and a glass of ice water and the chicken pita, and I only ate half of the chicken pita. Because it was a big, it was a huge chicken pita. It really was really big. And then I did have like four or five fries, because Denise had ordered fries, but oh my gosh, they gave me enough fries for like three people. So I had I had about four or five maybe five french fries if that so I did I think I did pretty well considering how I could have done because there were so many other things on the menu that I like and you know what and people are always complaining about oh how expensive everything is and how they can't afford to get their groceries and blah 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 and all that and I'm not saying that groceries aren't expensive because I do go grocery shopping I went yesterday and spent $150 so I understand that completely but it was a Wednesday night and it was at 5 o'clock. And that place was packed. You could not sit not one more person down. And it's not a small restaurant. It's a pretty large restaurant. And it was huge. It was absolutely not huge, but I mean crowded. And there were people waiting to get tables. And that was at 5 o'clock. And, and you know most people, they don't eat that early. That's like the early bird special. So I, I don't know. They must have money to eat out. And... Anytime I, Jim and I do go and eat out, we're always on a waiting list. So it's like people can't afford And then they bring their kids. Well, when I was a child, when you went out to eat, that was a treat. Now I think it's probably cheaper than a babysitter. I don't know. Maybe. It's only the only thing I can think of. But, <clears throat> so anyway, my getting back to my thinking I have a little bit of a gain. I really do think that uh, the fact that I ate out yesterday, even though I ate well... Um, they, they have to use preservatives to hold the food over. So that, that means sodium. 
And then I, I really do believe that the uh, exercising, because I'm exercising more than I have in the past, because your muscles kind of retain water to protect themselves. You know, once I get walking on a regular basis, you know, it'll be normal. And so that's not the case. But does that mean I'm going to stop walking? No. I mean, I so forgot. I did forget how much I enjoyed it. And, you know, I really don't like a treadmill. I've told you that in the past. But it's not as bad as I remember. <laughs> I don't know why, but it's just not as bad as I remember. And I, I thoroughly enjoy it. I put my music on. And it seems like every... Well, Jim usually starts off next to me. We usually have the two treadmills next to each other. But he only walks for about 15 minutes. And then he does other things uh, in the gym. But I always have runners on either side of me. And they run. I mean, they, you know, like, because kind of, I kind of glance over to see how fast they're going. They're running like at four or five miles an hour. And I'm thinking, oh my gosh. I'm walking at a 1.3 and I'm thinking I'm doing good. <laughs> but, you know, I am doing good because I'm better than the Sandy that was two weeks ago that wasn't walking even 0.1. So, I'm proud of that fact. So, I'm... I'm just thinking that, you know, I'm just still going to go. I'm going to find out. Although my day is so busy, I have to leave right away. Hopefully, she's on time leaving. You know, usually, they're pretty good about just doing their half hour. Because I have to get my turkey in the oven. I have to set the table. Melissa's bringing her boyfriend for the first time to meet the family. She said she's met his family enough times that it's time he come and meet her family. And then... Uh, she was funny yesterday because uh, when I picked her up from school and I was saying about the fact that uh, she was saying his mother drives her crazy because he's she's too possessive of him. And I go, what do you mean? She says, well, every time we're at my house, she's always calling. She's calling constantly to see what he's doing. And I says, well, she probably knows that you're there alone and she wants to make sure you're not having sex. She says, well, yeah, that's probably it. I said, does she do the same thing at your house? She says, well, when we're in the basement, she'll pop in unexpectedly. And I go, that's what mothers do. <laughs> I says, and she's just trying to make sure that you guys are safe. She says, yeah, I guess. <laughs> Birdie's not coming with me today. You probably noticed I didn't pick her up. Or she didn't pick me up either. It's her week to drive. Seems like every time it's her week to drive, she doesn't go. I'm kind of seeing a pattern there. But she has an excuse this time. Birdie is terrible about answering phone calls and text messages. I just, you know, because she'll be at my house and I'll hear her phone ding and I'll say, that's your phone. She's like, I'll get it later. Well, you know what? We're at an age where you can't say you'll get it later because you forget. So anyway, she was working yesterday and she said she kept getting binged. She didn't know. And I'll take that back. She didn't know she was getting binged. But I guess uh, Ron had called her a couple times and texted her a couple times. Their neighbor had called her and texted her, and she didn't answer either one. And then on Wednesdays when she gets off work, she goes to her son Bradley's house for dinner. And then when she was leaving Bradley's house, she happened to notice all the texts and messages that she missed. And uh, it was uh, from Ron and the neighbor. Ron couldn't see out of his right eye. And he was a little nervous. And, his, you know, he was, because I told you he's got to find out about his... Uh, heart, what kind of surgery they're going to do on his heart. So he called his neighbor because Bertie was not answering and the neighbor brought him to the hospital and the hospital was concerned that he had a stroke because I guess one of the side effects, thankfully I didn't know this because I would have been even more worried, but one of the rare, 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 rare side effects to when you get a catheterization is it can cause a stroke or it can raise your blood pressure. Very, very rare. <clears throat> but when they found out that's what he had, as a precaution, they wanted him I guess he only went to urgent care. They wanted him to take an ambulance to go to uh, St. John's Hospital, which is in Detroit. And he didn't want to do that because <coughs> his insurance didn't pay for an ambulance. <coughs> you know, to me, my health is more important than the amount of money it's going to cost. Just make payments on it. You know, they, if you can't make it all at once because an ambulance ride is expensive. But his neighbor offered to drive him and he still didn't want to go. He says he's just going to go home. So when Bertie was trying to call him last night, he was not answering. Now, could he have been just paying her back? I don't know. He, when she got home, she found out he was okay. He did have his vision back in his eye. But they wanted to go see the doctors this morning just to make sure everything was okay. So Bertie took... That's why Bertie's not coming. But um, he said that it, when he was charging his phone. So, um, I don't know. I, 
and they play the little reindeer games all the time, so. I said, is that a blessing to you, Marie, to, to look at your messages? Maybe you don't have to answer them right away, but you can at least look at them. Yeah, I suppose. So anyway, she's not coming. And the gym, when we got home last week, he felt fine. He didn't have any other issues, so. He said he had a, some problems during the night, and he just thought it was done with. But then like, when he got to the gym, he realized that it wasn't, so. And then we're, we're about 25 minutes from the gym. So it wasn't too bad. But I just want to tell you something today and make a note of it and I didn't just tell you that Bertie should be paying more attention. So you can come over. Um, we had so much fun at our dinner. Mary though is Mary's just getting over COVID. She's just you know, we're so concerned about her. She's just we're trying to get her to go to a real doctor. She has so many doctors, and I told her, and Denise and, Denise and I had an intervention with her that told her she needs to get one doctor, like an internist, because she doesn't have an internist. We need to, she needs to have one internist that coordinates all of the tests that she's getting done. Now, granted, all of her doctors get all of the reports, but I don't think that they're that concerned. I don't know, then I, that's not really the right way to put it. I think that if they, she had an internist who's just strictly marries my patient and I'm, I'm sending her for this test, this test, this test, I want to see, I want to see the results of all the tests. And then check her medications because we really feel she's over-medicated. We really do. And if she's having liver problems anyhow, do you really want to have any drugs extra that you don't really need filtering through your liver? So I don't know. But she... It's scary. It really is scary because we were joking with her when we left, but it wasn't really a joke. Is around her place where she sat, it looked like a child, like a toddler had sat there because she spilled so much of her dinner on the floor because her hands are so weak. And when she got up, she knocked a glass of water over and spilled it all over the table. And now, that can happen to anybody, but we're just really, really overly concerned. Really, it's just she's 66. And she shouldn't be living the life she's living at 66. You know, so please pray for my sister Mary. I'm just I'm really, really worried about her. I really am. I'm hoping that she's strong enough to go on the cruise. Even I mean, she did get the insurance just in case. But you know, tonight after dinner, because we're doing Mary's birthday dinner tonight. Tonight after dinner, we're um, going to plan our, book our hotels and our airline tickets and stuff like that. So then all i got to worry about is the money I'm going to bring on the trip itself, because I'll have paid for everything before that. I'm going to put it on a credit card, but when we get our income tax refund, then I'm just going to pay the credit card off. I'm one of these people that I know that the government's using my money, but you know what? I, I'm not really a good saver. So I, I let the government handle that. You can use my money while you're saving for me. <laughs> because I always get something big once a year with all my income tax money. Not the way to save, I realize, but that's the way I do it. And then i got to go to the dollar store and get my February birthday cards because I do have some birthdays coming up this month. And I guess that's the big plans for the day. I definitely will show you the big party. I'll let you know at the meeting here how I did. I'm overly optimistic, but like I said, I'm going. So that's that's good for me that I'm doing that much at least. The weather's starting. All the snow melted just about. There's still like piles like from when you know, like you shovel and put into a pile. It's supposed to be really nice in the 40s. We're about 10 degrees above average, which is nice. So... Okay, that's all I got to rattle on about for now. If I think of what it was I was going to tell you today, I'll let you know. I don't really remember what it was. Hey, right, buddy. I almost saw him come and sideswipe me. All right, talk to you soon. Oh, I remember what I was going to tell you. I told you I don't like to drive at night because I don't see well. 
And when we, I was thinking that when we got out, it was going to be a little lighter than it was. But we had such a good time. We were there a long time at the restaurant. And when we came out, it was dark. <laughs> it was really dark. So I told Denise, I said, I'm going to go the opposite way. I'm going to go through this parking lot so I can turn right and work my way over to get to the left-hand lane because I didn't want to pull out into traffic. That's how bad my eye. I should not have been driving. I should not have been. We should have just told Mary we couldn't make it. This is what we should have done. But anyway... When we were driving, and I got in the lane, and then he said, "This is not the left turn lane. You got to go over one more lane." <laughs> I thought, oh, "Oh, this is going to be scary." So, uh, thankfully, it was one of those pretty narrow lights, and so I was able to wait till the light turned green to turn left. Uh, you know, a dedicated left-hand turn lane where the light tells you when to turn left because it was red until it was time to turn left. Anyway. Uh, I didn't take the expressway home. I told her, I says, I, I can't take the expressway home. I said, we have to take a main road. So we took Rasha. If you call information, they say Gradiat. They don't want to say Rasha. My kids, when they were little, used to say, let's take Rasha. Well, we got to go somewhere. Oh, Rasha. Anyway, I made it home safely. I was, at some points, after I dropped, to get to Denise's house wasn't so bad because the, there was a lot of light. And I thought, you know what, why, why, why am I so afraid to drive at night? This isn't bad. I, you know, once I got on the, the road, and I, you know, with the street lights and that, I thought, you know, I can handle this. What's, what's the big deal? I, this is like a piece of cake. I've been all these years thinking I can't drive at night. So I dropped Denise off, and then the road I have to take home is all the roads that are, like, by my house. No street lights. <laughs> so, uh... It was a scary ride home. But I was by myself, so I felt a little bit safer because I always worry if I have somebody in the car with me that, you know, like, I've got their life in my hands. I got my, I got your life in my hands right now with you in my car with me. But, uh, but I made it home. And the funny thing is that uh, Jim never realized that I drove, which is good because, like, when we want to get something after, after dark, I always say, you know, I can't drive at night. <laughs> and so he always says, I've got to be the designated driver to go get the stuff after dark. <clears throat> so I got home and he didn't even ask. He didn't even miss that I drove out. He didn't hear the garage door open. or Well, he would have heard the garage door open or close because when I leave, I always go out through the garage. So he would have heard that anyhow. But he never heard my car start up or shut off when I got home. So that worked out well. So I, I can hold my can't drive at night car close to my vest. <laughs> okay, talk to you soon. All right, well, we're leaving the meeting. Let me show you how I did. I know, a 2.4 gain, but I still lost 41 pounds, so. It's, just, it's really, that's what my scale at home showed, too. A little over, I think my scale at home showed 2.3. So it's a little bit more than what my scale shows, but. I pride myself on the fact that I still went. I really do think it has something to do with eating out last night and my exercising, so I'm not going to be discouraged. I'm going to still stick with it. Give myself credit. But our we have our, we had our new leader today. I don't know. Maybe I'm just judging her by my old leader, who I, I like so much. But. She had kind of a a whiny voice, and it kind of uh, reminded me more of like a school lesson or something. I don't know. She had like a bunch of stuff on the whiteboard, and it just uh, I don't know. I'll give her another shot. Are you really coming in here? This is a hard place to get out of. And the people behind me say, come on, lady, take a chance. Take a chance. Columbus did. And we're going to go. We're going to go. Um, anyway, I just, um, I wasn't overly impressed, but I'm not going to not go to a meeting just because I'm not really, you know, <clears throat> she's got to give her a few weeks. That's what, you know. She could be getting better for me. No, don't judge a book by its cover. Give it a like. Sometimes you read a book and the first chapter's not that great, but you stick with it because you think it can get better. 
doesn't always happen, but sometimes it does. And so I need the meetings that keeps me accountable. It's the closest one to my house. I might consider going at night, now that I know I can drive at night, but then Jim will know and I'll lose that card if I can't drive at night. But soon enough it'll be light enough at night that I can go. So I, I have that in my back pocket to think about. So now we're going to go home and get stuff ready for the dinner. And so the, I'll share with you. Um, everybody celebrate Mary's birthday. So we'll see you then. Well, I thought I'd share the recipe for the banana chocolate chip muffins. If you're interested in it. Um, these are the ingredients that you might want to use. My finger out of the way here. And there's the directions. So maybe you can pause the video and do a screenshot. That'll give you an idea for a quick little chocolate chip muffins. Three points for that makes 24 muffins. If you try it, let me know. Okay. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Mary. Happy birthday to you. Cha-cha-cha. Well, I thank you, everyone. I appreciate you showing up and enjoying. We don't want you blowing on the dinner. cake. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't get a wish. She was oh, too we did slow. it quick. <laughs> <laughs>